Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Romanian District Mathematical Olympiad for 9 graders, 2012, problem number 1. We wish to solve the following equation. Floor of x to the 5th power plus the fractional part of x to the 5th power equals x to the 5th power. It's a rather simple equation, but again, it's only, only for 9th graders in Romania. Here are my hints. First, fractional part, if you don't know, uh, is defined as x minus floor of x. And every number can be written as some integer plus some fractional part, where k is an integer and fractional part is always between 0 closed and 1 open. Express our equation in terms of k and t and factorize, put everything on one side and factorize this expression. And also, this formula may be useful, derived from... Uh, sixth row of uh, Pascal's triangle, a plus b to the fifth power factorizes or expands in this way written here. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Right, so as I suggested, let, let uh, x equal k plus t, where k is an integer and t is some number between 0 and 1. Every real number can be written uniquely in this way. And our equation now becomes k to the fifth power plus t to the fifth power equals k plus t to the fifth power. All right. Let's simplify it. Or maybe, you know what, let's put it the other way around. Much better. Much better. And now let's expand the left-hand side. On the left-hand side, you have k to the fifth power plus 5k to the fourth t plus 10k to the third power t squared, 10k squared t cubed plus 5k t to the fourth power plus t to the fifth power equals k to the fifth power plus t to the fifth power. Right? Right. What else? Uh, let's see. K to the fifth, k to the fifth, t to the fifth, t to the fifth. Gone. Moreover, we can safely divide or we can factor out uh, 5kt on the left hand side. And we are left with k cubed plus 2k squared t plus 2k t squared plus t cubed equals zero. Right. So now let's take this polynomial and let's factorize it. Notice that it equals zero if k equals minus t, which suggests to do the following. Let's take, let's take k cubed and t cubed. It can be written as k plus t, k squared minus kt plus t squared. And then let's take these two terms and they can be written as 2k plus t, kt. Okay. Right, and now we have common factor. So it's 5kt, k plus t. And what we are left with? We are left with k squared plus kt plus t squared equals 0. And now we have the following possibilities. Either k is 0, k is 0, which means, and t is any number whatsoever, so in this case, x is between 0 and 1. Or, second option, t is 0, the fractional part is 0, so that means that x is an integer. Or the next possibility is that uh, k plus t equals zero but notice that k plus t k equals or t equals minus k but notice that this is between zero and one and this is an integer the only possibility for this to be true is for both k and t to be zero but these cases were already considered so no new solutions there Or, the last possibility, or k squared plus kt 
plus t squared equals zero. Right. Let's tackle the last part. Notice that the last part we can multiply or or not. Let's do the following. Notice that if uh, if if maybe let's write it like that. If k or if uh, well, basically the only solution of this is zero zero. I will justify it in this straightforward way. I will write t squared as t squared over 4 plus 3t squared over 4. And now we have k plus t over 2 squared plus 3t squared over 4 equals 0. You see, the only possibility is that both k and t are 0 for this to be true. But this was already covered. So our family of solutions consists of integers and this interval our solutions solutions are integers but with this interval 0 1 i can write it as being open on both sides because 0 is an integer so nothing is lost and that closes our problem so yes pretty nice problem Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time and I will see you next time. Goodbye.